Hey to guys and dolls out there on YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is day 1253 of my ketogenic journey. I'm going to show you what I eat, um, my macros, weigh-ins from yesterday and today, and so much more. We got a lot to talk about today. Good things, hopefully. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, everything you hadn't done. And, uh, well, it's time to turn off that old TV, turn on the smiles, and rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Diamond style. so super cool um good good news came in late yesterday evening my grandson's other grandma texted me and said hey check your bank account we got ours and i checked my bank account and sure enough there it was hubby mr katie is riding shotgun today you want to say howdy say howdy he just likes to spite me just a little bit <laughs> but anyway um sure enough it was there if you have h and r block and the same bank account, go ahead and check your bank account, it's probably there. So that is good news. Guess what, y'all? If you if you kind of knew here, you won't know this, but if you've been following me for a minute, you'll know that back in September, my son sold me his minivan, which we lovingly nicknamed Wobbles, because it wobbled everywhere. Wobbles, wobbles no more, <laughs> thanks to the stimulus. Um, I was able to go grab four new tires and we were hoping that was the problem because every tire had, had fixed a flat, every tire had, had been pumped up and blown up. But I mean the, the steering wheel kind of did this number the entire time you were driving it. And now that it doesn't do that at the moment, I'm thinking, I don't even know how to drive this sucker anymore. Um, <laughs> it's a little different now. But yeah, I don't have to hold the wheel quite as tight to keep it from kind of... <laughs> Um, but, but I'm very thrilled because at the moment the tire things seem to have been the problem. Let's hope that holds out. You never know. I mean, you never know, right? There might be an underlying problem that's causing the tires to go in, hard to say, but I imagine it would still shake, wouldn't it? Huh? Wouldn't it still shake if the underlying problem that was causing the tires to go bad was still there? No. Well, you never know anyway, that's my point. So hopefully Wobbles will continue to not wobble, although Wobbles will probably always be its nickname because that's just what I call the van now. Um, it deserves a bath and everything too now, so we'll see where that goes. But we are using the stimulus money to fix things, catch up on things, and get everything straight. I technically have a red light, but I am stopped at a stop sign, so. Let me pull up a see. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. I'm going to make sure we do everything as safe as possible. All right. So, we did stop by the restore. Some of y'all mentioned that again the other day. And I do frequently check the restores um, when we're trying to do a project, like re restore the house and stuff like that. And when I'm just looking around for something specific, we had a look around. They do have certain things that would be helpful, but a lot of it was sold. I guess a lot of people getting their stimulus and fixing their houses, um, things that are broken. But of course, before we make any major purchases for the house, we will kind of glance in there for, you know, tubs and, and different things. Because they do have, you know, tubs. They do have bathroom sinks, kitchen sinks, counters and stuff like that. They just didn't have anything we, we are in need of right now. They had a really cool oven. I would love to have something similar to that, but I think I would rather have a new oven if I can afford it. But this one had like two big ovens. What else was that? Just two big ovens? Just big ovens. Yeah, but it was kind of like stacked two big ovens, and that would be nice. And it would be even nicer if you had brake lights on your trailer, since I can't see your vehicle lights. But, okay, we'll try not to hit nobody in the rear end. No, good, good. Got out of the way. All right, keto-wise. So yesterday, I felt like I didn't hardly eat anything. It felt like one of those days where I kind of starved myself. But after putting my macros and everything in, I was surprised. I ate a lot more than I realized yesterday. Now, a lot of people who do track their macros, which means using like Carb Manager, or My Fitness Pal, or just writing it down, they will map out their day before they have it. 
they'll, you know, say, okay, today I'm going to eat this food, this food, and this food, and this is what it's all going to tally up to be if I stay on track. I always put mine in later in the day because I'm actually, or, or later in the day or the next day, because I'm actually pretty good at judging it most of the time. I'm, I'm very good at judging the carb level most of the time. I, I rarely go over um, 30 grams of carbs anyway, and quite often I'm below 20, so I, I don't really worry about it too much. However, if I had pre-mapped all of that, I would be like, whoa, you don't need to eat all that. So I'm going to show you everything I ate. I'm actually quite stunned at the results considering um, I, I went down a good bit. Well, not a good bit, but enough that it was fine. It just, it, was, it shocked me after I did my macros and I looked at my weight and I was like, oh, dang, um, I'm surprised by that. So let's go ahead and show you everything I ate, my macros, and yesterday's weigh-in compared to today's weigh-in. I stopped by Wendy's uh, on the way to have his appointment with a you know uh, spine surgeon. At. Well, all right. You so there every day. I've got, I do not, a triple baconator, no bun, add tomato, and a diet root beer with vanilla. I just had a cheese stick, a Land Lakes one, and this thing Jelly sent me. It was super fat, macadamia and coconut. It's like a nut butter. It had one of these sippy lids on it. I ended up having to cut it off to get to the nut butter. <laughs> But it did, and it was good. There's nothing wrong with the taste. But these little sippy lid things are dumb. After that, I'm having a turkey breast and cheese roll up. That's a little bit of mayonnaise. And this is American uh, with a food line turkey breast. I have some cheese and stuff somewhere, and I'm going to get some food out to unthaw and eat. But <laughs> I don't know what yet. Now, I stopped by the store and got some more of these epic oven baked pork skin and some mild shredded cheddar for some salad and stuff. Give me a salad. It's lettuce, shredded cheese. Uh, bacon bits, pork skins, the epic, I love these, and Oscar Mayer bacon bits, I think I might have said that. The, the ranch I'm using is Nature's Promise Organic. So it's kind of funny, some days you think you don't eat that much, and it turns out you eat a lot more than you realize. I don't really understand it, but it does happen. So these are my calories and macros for all that food. There is one thing you didn't see, which was one Quest double chocolate chip cookie. I didn't go out to the trunk of the car to get it. Um, we were already in the car. It was directly after the Wendy's meal. And I was like, ooh, I guess what's in the trunk. So anyway, <laughs> calories and macros per my fitness pal website, 2,510 calories. 30 grams of total carbohydrates, unless that cookie is listed in net, because it's only showing five carbs, so it might be listed in net. There might be a few more carbs. I don't really know. 187 grams of protein, 169 grams, I'm sorry, 187 grams of fat, 169 grams of protein, um, and 33 of those protein don't count. Again, they came from pork skins, and pork skins are an incomplete protein. You'll have to look that up, but uh, it doesn't count towards your protein goal, but it does count towards your calories. However, my protein was still good. It was well over 100, and I always want to keep my protein over 100, but I need to drag some of this down quite a bit. Not pretty numbers, but same thing, 166.6. Alrighty, y'all, let's see what we got here. One Four point six. I'm quite shocked by that, honestly. Um, no. Well, dude, I ate twenty five hundred calories yesterday. No. And I'm not. I'm not real concerned about the calories. It was just. It was a lot, really. And then you know, I had that Quest cookie too. Usually, I don't do so well with Quest products, but that one is sweetened with stevia instead of uh, sucralose. So that's a big difference for me and my body. If you're new to keto, mm. some sweeteners that work for other people might not work for you and you just have to kind of discover what it is. I don't always do this. When you're watching me, you'll know that if I've got two or three different kinds of new keto sweets, I'll try them all in one day. But the best thing you should do, if you have a new keto product or sweet you, you intend to try, try them by themselves that day. Don't have anything new. Keep it all meat, cheese, eggs, and green leafy vegetables. Have that one item, and then tomorrow, see if the scale went up or down. Now, if it took a drastic drop down or drastic drop up, down is good, up is, you probably can't have that. Now, what you can do is wait a few days, try it again, and see if you get the same result. Because if you do, if you get the same result over and over again, then that's just not going to be a product for you. But if you go down every time you use it, you're good to go.
If you stay the same, I would say that it was probably going to be one of those items that would stall you and it would be okay when you get into maintenance mode when you're done trying to lose weight or as a very occasional treat. But uh, you know, you don't want to stall yourself if you can avoid it. There are so many things on my journey that stall me and if you haven't been following me for a minute, you won't know this. But when I first started, I could use I, I, my fats were primarily craft ranch dressing and um, I ate a whole lot of TGI Friday's hot wings. If I was to eat that same meal now, the same meal that I lost a hundred pounds on over and over almost every day for a year, I'm gonna go up. My body just, it doesn't like those things. I'm hoping when I get into maintenance, which is about 30 pounds away, 40 technically, but about 30 uh, fat pounds away, it's something I'll be able to re-include. Now, at one time, I was very convinced that I was uh, having issues with nightshades, which are tomatoes, peppers, and I, tomatoes and peppers, uh, eggplants and stuff like that, but I don't eat those. So, I, I was convinced that that was a big problem for me, but I keep trying to use them, and I'm not seeing inflammation from them anymore or weight gain necessarily from them anymore. I think maybe it was something else I was using at the time, but I can't be sure about that till I can get to my lowest and find out. Anyway, I'm going to save the rest of this video for little Miss Karina. Hopefully, I can get her back on track and move it again. I, I think she's slunk into some depression, some real depression, and she does it periodically. And Really, you can help people like that a little bit, but they really have to want it and drag themselves back out of it. So, I mean, I'm there for her, but I can't force her. It doesn't work that way. All right, guys and dolls. Here's, hopefully, Corey. All right, like I said, here's Corey. Hi. <laughs> Today I weighed in at 291.8, which is 0.4 down from yesterday. Yay! Ignore the jiggles. Underarm jiggles comes with the game. <laughs> Hi. Anything else you want to talk about? No. 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 Well, we got a whole lot done today. I'm very, very thrilled. Um, I feel like the Red Sea. My or not hurts. Even huh? What is your head it still hurts. I often sinuses and allergies. All right. So, I don't know what we're talking about. But, I don't know um, Yeah, uh, a lot got done today. I'm very, very happy with that. We can get a little yeah. bit more done tomorrow. So, yay. And then I start work on Friday. Ah. And we're going to have Zach a little birthday party tomorrow afternoon. No cheating allowed for me and her. We'll see. Yeah, we will. I, will. I got a tooth reconstructed yesterday. She got a tooth reconstructed yesterday. That's always helpful. <laughs> so, you guys, if you have questions or comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section or send me an email. My contact information is in the description. Did the description below. You know that box this is some super white. You're, you're trying, trying to give me some light. light. <laughs> I didn't even fair. It's the light's really on working. my side too. It's just sucking up all, all of her skin. Um, I'll suck up all of your skin. So There's something wrong with that child what? back there. Come on, lean back. What? Give me some light. <laughs> but anyway, there are ways to support the channel that are greatly uh, appreciated below, including Amazon wish list, PayPal, and all that good stuff. And. I don't know what's going on. If you need, well, if you want a Keto Mojo, you don't need one. But in the description below, if you use my link and my code, you get 15% off the entire kit at checkout. And there's other great Keto products and stuff down there. Again, you don't need, but you might want. If you want to know, and Shoshka bracelets, if you want to know what you can eat on a ketogenic diet, my website, KetoDiamond.com, I got a full foods list written out waiting there for you for free. So go check that out. Much love, many prayers. Bye. You too.